Jimpok is trapped on Kronosh, guarded by the few warriors loyal to his cause. Our recent victories have weakened his position and brought many allies to our banner. There will not be a better time to strike. As Kalish once defeated the forces of the tyrant Molor, so shall we put an end to the reign of Jimpok. Join us in the Boreth system as we prepare for glorious and honorable battle. As we stand ready to attack Jimpok, I am reminded of another adversary, Cole of House Cole. Like Jimpok, he craved personal power to be the single ruler of the Empire. For a time, it seemed that he would succeed, but in the end, his arrogance led to his undoing. Such will be the fate of Jimpok today. I regret following the orders of such a dishonorable leader. Fortunately, there are others who stand ready to take his place and serve the Empire well. The future holds no place for Jimpok and those like him. The only place for them is Grethel. Jimpok ordered the invasion of Gorn's space and forced our king to bend the knee. Since then, we have been little more than puppets of the Empire and of Jimpok. Today, we will fight for the Empire, not as pawns, but as equals. Today, the puppets will cut the strings! And then he said, either move, or I'm going to have to place you under arrest. Ah! A Ferengi Starfleet cadet telling three Klingon warriors to move. That boy has more courage than ten of these nook surrounding Jim Park. Remember this. Courage comes in all sizes and shapes. Dahar Master Kang knew this as well. When I was a child, he told me of his glorious adventures. He went into battle with brave and honorable warriors from many worlds. Humans, Trill, even Vulcans! I do not care what planet they come from. If they are here to knock Jempok from his throne, they are friends of mine. If we are victorious, drink with them and sing great songs of glory. And should we die, I will see them in Stovacor, and we will take our place among the honored dead. There is a human saying, necessity is the mother of invention. After all I have experienced in this war, I have come to realize the profound wisdom in those words. Necessity drove me to create defenses against the tricks of Akar. It has driven us to work with the Alachi on defenses against a weapon that once belonged to it also led to the means to close mycelial rifts and restore the sanity of corrupted Elachi to turn foes into friends. Hmm. I suppose necessity drove us to join the fight against Jempok. Although the chance to make a tidy profit was also a motivating factor. I suspect the Nausikans, Lethians, and Ferrasans felt the necessity of staying loyal to Jempok. Too bad. They're about to learn they're backing the wrong side. Warriors from many worlds, you stand ready to fight and restore the Empire. It is my honor to go into battle with you. Know this. Today, the forces of Jim Park will know defeat. You know what you must do. Face your enemy. Show them your blade. Fight well. In the name of Kalos, and for the glory of the Empire! Remember what you fight for today. All of you, no matter what world you call home, know what it means to be Klingon. If that is in your heart, and the enemy takes your life, 
Today will be a good day to die. Well said. All hands, report to your stations. We depart for Kronos soon. Dismissed! Before you return to your ship, I would speak to you. A lot is riding on the Alachi and their modifications to this vessel. Do they have your confidence, your trust? Let us hope so. There is one other matter, a personal request. You were at my side in Grethel. You know of the deal I made to secure Lorel's freedom. I have asked those I trust to fulfill my oath should I fall in battle. I count you among their number. If I die before ending Akar and Jempak, will you do what must be done to send them both to Grethel? Very well. By your hand or mine, may Akar and Jempak stand before Feklar on this day. The fleet is in position. Beam back to your ship when you are ready to proceed. The fleet is in position, just outside the range of enemy sensors. When the word is given, we'll go to maximum warp and travel to the assigned coordinates. Move your vessel into position when you are ready. The time draws near. If you are prepared for battle, I will give the order to begin the invasion of Kronos. For honor, for glory, for the Empire! All ships have reported in. We are holding position outside the Praxis debris field. Loyalist forces are moving into defensive positions as expected. The last time I saw Praxis, it was the first night of a full moon. Like the Empire, I thought it would last forever. And yet now, the Empire is shattered. Like the moon above our homeworld. Indeed, it is our duty, and we will not fail. Attention all hands! The time has come! Begin the assault! For the Empire! Yes! This is more like it! Helm! Get us into knife fighting range! Tactical! <laughs>
then we must trick him into doing so. He faces his maneuvers, all six. Do not let them lock on to you. been targeted by the Krista. Rendezvous with the Katinga and draw Jempak's fire to me. All hands, prepare to be targeted by the mycelial weapon. Brace for impact. I told you not to fire at Jaula. Was she destroyed? I, I cannot tell. Too much interference on sensors! It worked. Tarsev's device worked. Once more onto the bridge. Dear friends. on the Kristok, and their main drive is leaking plasma. They are disabled. To all warriors aboard the Kristok, this is Matriarch Jaula. You are beaten. Stand down and prepare to be boarded. Surrender the tyrant Jimpak to me, and you will be shown leniency. Defend him, and you will know death. There will be no victory for you today, traitor. If I cannot have Kronos, no one will. I will detonate the very weapon that the realm used to become Chancellor. The home world will become the grave of the Klingon Empire. Test me at your peril. It is called a Hydro Bomb. A terrorist placed it in the planet's core during the war with the Federation. Some allies acquired the detonator and gave it to me. It allowed me to give the High Council a choice. Accept my leadership, end the war, or face the destruction of Kronosh. He has been to the Great Hall and raised defensive shields. He means to dig in, wait for reinforcements, and force us to quit the field. If we push too hard, call his bluff. I have known Jim Park longer than any of you. I have faced him in battle. I know his heart. Go to him and issue a formal challenge. His pride, his arrogance will not allow him to refuse you. Sometimes the old ways are best. Face the filthy Patak, Jaula, and bury your blade in his heart. 
Whatever you plan to do, I recommend haste. The IKS Targ is approaching with a fleet at high warp. Very well. Adenpa, I want you and Cochran to lead our forces here against Akar and his fleet. I will lead a team to First City and seek to challenge Jempak there. As former chancellors, I would like Laurel and Martok at my side to bear witness to our honorable victory. If that is your wish, I will not deny you. We will transport as close as we can to the Great Hall and begin the final assault from there. Kapla! Remind me to have a word with Adenpa, if we survive. This is not an ideal place to begin our attack. That smell. Worse than Fetlar's backside. Under the circumstances, this was the closest she could get us to the Great Hall. Plug your nose and forge on! I know a path that leads to the Proving Grounds. From there, we should be able to fight our way to the Great Hall. Listen, do you hear? The sounds of battle and bloodthirsty targs. Keep your weapons handy. The enemy is nearby. Be wary. Around here we have more than Jim Pock's troops to worry about. They stand to suffer under Jim Pock's rule. We may have more allies here than you think, Jim Pock. Dissension in the ranks! Now is the time to strike! Take the Loyalists down while they are distracted! Hold your fire! I am General Martok. Who do you fight for? We are the warriors of House Kang, General. We fight to restore the Empire. Orion. That Orion was leading the defense here.
Let us see what he knows about enemy defenses. The Lady Jaula of House Mokai. Truly, it is an honor to meet you. Please, allow me to offer you my personal gratitude. Gratitude? For what? I do not know you, Orion. What are you talking about? His name is Usan Beck, and he is a notorious pirate. I suspect he's thanking you for all the good business this war has provided him. He made the mistake of attacking some freighters carrying goods from my house. A mistake he will never make again, if he is wise. <laughs> Consider that lesson well learned, General. I have far better uses for my ships than to serve as target practice for the warriors of House Martok. That's a tall order, friend. There isn't much around here that can get past those shields. Fortunately for you, I happen to have something that will. For the right price, of course. Earlier, you mentioned your gratitude. Provide us with the means to bypass the shielding and we shall express our gratitude to you in return. Unless you prefer to deal with the Emperor. I've seen what the Emperor does to Orions, my lady. We have a deal. Not far from here, some associates of mine are guarding a shipment of Tetrion explosives. They will knock that shielding down quite nicely. Though there is a small issue to be dealt with, I'm afraid. My associates recently informed me that their position was in danger of being compromised by Imperial security. Unless you want those Tetrion lovelies in the hands of the Emperor, I'd suggest lending my people a hand. You'll find them at the following coordinates. I knew Usan Vek to be bold, but running a smuggling operation in the first city? I am not sure if he is bold or insane i suspect a pirate operating in the empire would need to be both general lower your weapons Usan Vex sent us. That Gorn is Usan Vex's enforcer. Talk to him about the explosives. The Grass told us help was on the way. Nice to see he wasn't lying. Imperial security has the rest of my crew pinned down inside. If you're here to help, you need to get in there. We can talk about such things after we save my crew. Agreed? Watch your aim. Would you want to blow up your prize, would you?
scorn to check the cargo manifest. There may not be enough here to get the job done. According to the cargo manifest, all of the test we are charges are in here. Is it a problem? What are you trying to do? There's enough depth we are in here to blow up a dreadnought! Ah, I see. You'll need to give it at a weak point. Cause enough of a surge to overload the primary emitters and the backup grid. Scanning. Come one. Go to our side entrance. Not far from here. It's a narrower approach. Less need to repel firepower of the same magnitude as the front gates. Very well. Secure the charges and prepare for battle. We must not fail now. The battle is won. Gather the Tetrion charges while you can. We've got what we came for. Let's go. Over there, by that field. Place the charges there, quickly. Set the Tetri on charges. Charges in place. Now, get to a safe distance and detonate them. Reinforcements are beaming in. Prepare for battle! The disciples of now. Watch out for their nanopulse weapons. Like the wind, I do not respect a fool. And there are many of them asking to dance on my blade. Good.
Lady Jaul. <laughs> the Emperor awaits you in the Great Hall. Face him. If you have the spine for it. <laughs> Go. Do what must be done. Need to return to the Rotaran. Join the fight there. From one ex-Chancellor to another. Use it well. Come. We have business within the Great Hall. Do you miss this place, mother? This is as close as you get to being Chancellor again, I'm afraid. You are blocking my path, Lucky. Make way! Arrogant, misbegotten clone! Jan Chu! Your path ends here. You will not save her. Jaula will die on the Emperor's blade. Those force fields are blocking our way. Destroy the emitters in the walls to bring them down. So many fools, all eager to fight in a burning house. But you will go no further! These emitters have shields. Disable them with your trifle, then destroy the emitters. True enemy. I have plenty of it, but your Ula has but a few breaks remaining. This is where you fail. You will never get past me. You should have stayed in your own time, barbarian. There is no place for you in my empire. Did lose you, old fool. The only place for you is Greco. You will be there soon enough. A dead path. We need to block the car's personal transport. Have you tried shooting before? You know you run at the first sign of terror attack. We need to prevent that. 
understood. I need this transport. With that, I can block it. When he transports, scan the area he left. A few scans should provide a complete frequency. You are brave! And it is the brave ones who die. Always. Scan his transporter signature. Well done. Give me two more and I will shut that little dog. I admire his eyes. Though, she is becoming annoying! A car to Tom! Emergency transport! Scan his transporter signature. Two steps down, one more, and the running days are over. There is still fight in you. Still your blood for Initiate transport! Immediately! Quick! Scan his transporter signature! Stop! Lock him out of his own transport! Send him screaming to grapple, my lady! You still live? Time to do something about it. You're done! It is not my destiny. It belongs in your hand, as Chancellor. Rech Klingon Wuchtach Judge!
sword of Kalish. In my time, most believe it was a thing of legend, of myth. I will not dishonor this sacred weapon. Its legacy will not be tarnished by my hand. I swear. May it be a reminder in the days to come, as we rebuild what was broken and replace what was lost. A reminder of all that is great within the Empire. Reforging the Empire will be a challenge, but one worthy of Kalesh and all who dwell with him in Stovokor. Fortunately, we are Klingon. We live for such a challenge. Two weeks have passed since the fall of Jimpok. Our wounds heal. The honored dead have joined their ancestors in Stovokor. Order has returned to the Empire. Rebuilding what was broken or lost has begun. There is more to be done. But first, we will celebrate our hard-fought victory. Turn to stability within the Empire, the Alliance must stand ready to provide assistance in the rebuilding effort here. We cannot afford another Jimpok. The tragedy of Kithamer, or worse, could happen again. Especially if such a tyrant turned their eyes on the Federation or the Republic. Even the Dominion could be threatened by such a ruler. I, for one, do not recommend running from a wave of mycelial destruction, no matter what age you are. It is not a pleasant experience, I can assure you. Indeed, Grethar holds a number of fools who thought they would be the end of me. There are two, in particular, I'm glad to be rid of on this day. Yes, though I am pleased that their deaths led to Gauron's release from Grethor, now he resides with Kalis in Stovakor, and I have no doubt Feklar is glad to be rid of him. <laughs> that wild-eyed schemer was probably well on his way to taking charge of the place when he was released. When I was living a hermit's life on Nimbus 3, I thought I had seen it all. On that, I was greatly mistaken. Civil war within the Empire, the return of Lorel, even a battle with giant cybernetic reptile. Yes, but in the end, he was too clever for his own good. Dealing with his tricks gave me insight on his computer security. With that knowledge, I was able to trap him on Kronos, where he was dealt with once and for all. <laughs> Well done, by the way. There are more like me among the liberated Alachi. Some prefer life within the mycelial network, but others would like to return to their former lives when the time is right. Not at this time. The Alliance has asked me to represent the liberated Alachi. As an ambassador, I will be able to forge a new future for my people and to protect the sanctity of the mycelial network. Perhaps in the future, I will return to a life among the Romulan people. But for now, my place is with the Alachi. Much has changed since my first time as Chancellor, and much has remained the same. I am already besieged with requests and calls for favor from many houses, great and small. Fortunately, I shall have the assistance of the latest torchbearer as we move forward and restore the Empire. Indeed, as other torchbearers before me, it will be my role to act as an advisor to the Chancellor, and, if necessary, to get my hands dirty where she cannot. 
It is my intention to serve her and the Empire to the best of my ability. In my time here, we have been adversaries and allies. It has been a strange journey for us both. Without you, the Empire would have been lost. For your role in the conflict, you have my respect and my thanks. The event has concluded. You may beam back to your ship at your leisure. Once more, I stand for the Empire as its Chancellor. It is a singular honor, and I will lead by example in the days to come. There is much to be done, but we will meet every challenge and emerge victorious, for we are Klingon! Klingon Mach Tach Judge! You have been an honorable ally, and your name will be remembered in songs and tales forevermore. Glory to you and your house. Kapla!